I'm Andres, I'm a Haskell consultant with uh, WellTyped for the past eight years. I've always liked teaching as a part of the things that we're doing. And over the last year we've been working with IOHK and I've been involved in a number of uh, courses. At first we um, had a number of Haskell courses where we taught the basics but also the more advanced features of Haskell to just people all over the world that are interested in the topic. And uh, here in Regensburg, we're now um, doing something slightly different. We're teaching the developers at IOHK um, about testing and specification and functional correctness. And uh, yeah, I've been a part of setting up this course and, uh, and I'm also teaching parts of it. We're also very blessed to have John Hughes uh, here, who is one of the, the big names in the, in the Haskell testing world and is the author of the Quick Check Library. So a large component of this course is to teach all the intricacies of this particular library to the developers. Uh, yeah, so the purpose of the course is really uh, twofold, I would say. So um, there, are, there are two important aspects that we are trying to achieve here. So uh, first of all, uh, we want to bring the developers up to speed with the uh, important aspects of um, testing very complicated pieces of code. I mean, the kind of code that you need to write in a cryptocurrency context is, uh, is not at all trivial. There is networking involved, there is concurrency involved, there is a lot of um, things that can go wrong. And uh, testing these kinds of aspects is, uh, is not, uh, it's not the kind of context in which you typically first learn about testing. So if these uh, aspects come into it, creep into it, then everything becomes far more difficult. But it's also that um, IOHK is, uh, is hiring people from all over the world with a variety of backgrounds. So there are classical developers, there are people who have uh, university degrees, there are people who are self-taught enthusiasts, there are people who are interested in formal methods, there are people who are interested in programming languages design, there are people who are interested in game theory or uh, people who are actually doing research. So there are all these people within IOHK and uh, they're working on the same kind of things and you need, uh, you need a language to communicate with each other. And uh, so uh, one important aspect of this course is also to, um, to teach everyone some sort of common vocabulary in terms of specifications in order to make sure that uh, people from various corners and areas within the company can, can effectively communicate with each other about the goals that uh, IOHK is trying to achieve. I'm quite impressed that IOHK is putting so much uh, emphasis on, on training their own people. I mean, it's, uh, in practice this is very important, but unfortunately, in my experience, many companies are overlooking that this is important to do. Um, again, uh, one of the reasons is that people simply have various different backgrounds and even if in principle everybody knows something about a particular topic, it doesn't necessarily mean that they know the same thing. Uh, another important thing is also, in, in particular in the context of IOHK, which is a remote company, everybody is working in different places. People rarely ever come together into one place and meet each other. Um, there are many experts uh, within IOHK themselves. They have experiences with various different things that they have been doing. But uh, in a remote context where you're typically working and communicate via video calls or via uh, uh, text-based chats, you rarely get the opportunity to um, really share your own experiences or also the own problems that you've encountered. So when setting up this particular course, one of the important things that we try to bring into it is to also reserve sufficient time for people to flexibly add things to the schedule. So we are having this open discussion session at the end of every day where people can basically just propose topics uh, that they want to briefly bring up and highlight. And uh, I think that has been turning out to be really useful because it means that uh, the, also the content of the course is immediately going to be challenged and being put to the test by the, by the real world concerns. So there is enough 
uh, space in the course, not just to, to do exercises and to do practical work, but also to, um, to ask questions that go slightly beyond the immediate things that have just been discussed on the slides, but to say like, look, we have this module here uh, <laughs> and there is this particular problem with it. And um, how does it relate to what you just said? And uh, I think that that's been uh, important to me when we when we try to set up the course and if anything I would love to have even more of that space unfortunately time is always limited.